What if I told you that electricity can be conducted without the loss of energy in room temperature using superconductors? Wait what? When electricity is passed through a conductor, some of the energy is lost in the form of heat or light depending on their resistance. In July 2018, two researchers from the Indian Institute of Science published a preprint that claims to have observed superconductivity at room temperature. Superconductivity? Room temperature? What am I talking about? Superconductors are materials that can conduct electricity without offering any resistance, which means that electricity will be flowing without dissipating or loss of energy. Scientists have found that this can be possible only in extremely low temperatures, often close to minus 273 degrees Celsius, which is very, very cold. The best superconductor requires constant cooling to achieve such low temperature, which is nearly impossible and can be very expensive. Superconductors are currently used in magnetic resonance imaging or the MRI, nuclear magnetic resonance and other purposes. If superconductivity can be achieved at room temperature, it will change the way electricity is generated and consumed. It can also be eventually used in power grids, telecommunication and magnetic levitation such as the Hyperloop. Let us now come back to the research. Anshu Pandey and Dev Kumar Thapa, the researchers behind the findings, are caught in a furious debate in the scientific community. Achieving superconductivity at room temperature had been constantly eluding scientists for years now. In August 2018, an MIT scientist, Brian Skinner, discovered an anomaly in the Thapa and Pandey's findings. In a now viral Twitter thread, Skinner pointed out that the data from the findings, when plotted on a graph, showed the same patterns of noise. So what is noise? Noise in the context of an experiment is a disturbance or fluctuation. It is by nature random, uncontrollable and cannot be replicated. Skinner also points out that the arguments put forward by the scientists are not completely convincing yet encouraging. Scientists found the exactly duplicated noise pattern suspicious and called it doubtful. This point of the controversy has not been resolved yet. While a faction of scientists call the data fabricated, another faction says that the data could have been misinterpreted or mispresented. Several researchers tried to replicate the results but failed because the preprint did not have the details about the raw materials needed to make the superconductors. So what now? Last week, Thapa and Pandey revised their version of their paper with eight additional authors. They had added a lot of new data including results of 125 new samples. However, the issue of noise, which was part of the original controversy, has not been resolved yet. Every research paper has to go through two main processes. One is peer review and second is the repeatability of the result, both of which is yet to be passed. It is still unclear whether superconductivity can be achieved or not. But if it does, who knows whether we can see a Nobel Prize in India's kitty.